I'm going to show you how to pack everything for my trip to Africa into this bag. And I'm going to do it in under five minutes. Are you ready? Here we go. Got to get your shoes, put your socks in there really tight. Okay, clean socks. Don't want them to smell bad. Not, not good. All right, that goes one. All right, another sock. Actually, they come in pairs. Here we go. That one goes like that, like that, and like that. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Put in clothes tightly down at the bottom. Got to get the underwear. Mom said never leave without clean underwear. Very important. We get our underwear in there. All these things, pack them in there really good, just like that. Okay, so far so good. Here's how we do it. You ready? Put a shirt in, and you do it like this. Put it in like that. This also keeps them from wrinkling. It's amazing. And you put another one in like that, and then you take a pair of jeans, and you lay them in, not like that. Like this, and like that. And then you put in more shirts, like this, and another shirt, like that. All right, and you get another pair of jeans, and you lay them like that. All right, and then you push down a little bit, and then you get your workout clothes, because you gotta stay in shape when you're on a mission trip, very important. Then because it's gonna be cold in Africa, you need some long sleeve shirts, because it's winter where we're gonna be, and so what you do is you lay those in like that. That's really warm. Lay that in like that. Lay that in like that. And then one more pair of jeans. And they go like this. All right, so far so good. We're doing well. And then we've got one more long sleeve shirt like this. All right. Now we have a hoodie because it's going to be cold, like I said, in Africa, so you put that right there, and then we have this jacket that I'll put in in just a moment. So here we go. We fold those in and that, and we fold these in like that, like this, and we fold this in like that, and this in like that, and we fold this in like that. Now I got one pair of jeans over here. We bring that in. That's a lot of clothes in a very small bag. And so I want to show you something. As we took that in right there, you pull it over, and look, I still have room. Are you kidding me? I still have room, so what do I do? I go over here, and I've got some golf shirts. I want to put in a couple more golf shirts. Since I have room, see, I packed enough right there for the whole trip, but since I'm doing good, I'm actually going to put in a couple more shirts. And so we're going to put that shirt right there, and that shirt right there, and, in case I don't want to do laundry there, why not put in one more shirt right here? You fold it over, lay it down, see how nice and unwrinkled that is? You tuck it in over here, you tuck it in over here. Okay, I pull out my straps. That's a little bit of work. Pull out this strap. Okay. Pull out this strap. Pull out one more strap. We're almost done for a trip to Africa, just like that. All right, here's my strap. Put my strap in here, connect the dots. Boom, got to turn backwards. There we go, whoops. Wardrobe malfunction. There we go. Hear that click? That's the way it's supposed to work. All right, got one more. Where did you go? Come back, come to Papa. Okay, this is how you become a world traveler, a frequent flyer, and someone who makes travels all over the world and has no problem. You do it like that, you turn it in right there, and you just pull the zipper around, like that, like that. And then you take your jacket for rain, and you stick your jacket in there. And you know what? I still have room for toiletries, a little plastic bag for my liquids and things like that. I got a little room up here for, man, I got all kinds of room left over, so, and I'm ready to go, just like that. And that is how you pack for a trip to Africa.